Hey, what's up, bitches? Welcome back to another Talk Raw podcast. And in today's podcast, I'm really excited to let you guys know that my podcast, mine and Nick's podcast, just made it to iTunes. So you guys can go up on iTunes right now and download the podcast onto your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. Sorry, you Android guys. We just I just don't know how to have it where you guys can get it on Android, but if you're on an iOS device, you guys can listen to it on the go while you're in the gym, when you're in the car. I would really appreciate you guys to check it out on iTunes if you guys don't want to watch the full video on YouTube. So with that being said, guys, we're going to welcome back the Indie FX just coming off his uh, cruise to the Bahamas. And with that being said, let's get right into it. I still think it's pretty cool that they accepted us onto uh, iTunes. That That is pretty cool. So now all we need to do is have like you or me make like a little 10 second intro, like a little theme song like all these other pos- podcasts have. So with that being said, how was your uh, cruise? Oh, it was pretty fun, man. So I seen your, you came back and it was all flooded out and shit. Yeah, dude, this flood is insane. Like, I guess it's supposed to get worse because I guess we're supposed to get some water that's coming down from, like, Georgia, I think is what they said. Because I, I seen your video, and I was like, damn, it's pretty crazy to actually see um, a flood in person and seeing it on TV. Yeah, yeah. When you see it on TV, it's you're just like, holy shit. But, like, when you see it in person, like, affecting, like, your own property, it's like, what the hell? Yeah, because I seen that in when you had Tropical Storm Debbie in... I think I have a video on my Facebook about it. Like, I actually showed the footage, and yeah. I, I was overwhelmed with, like, I'm like, damn, you, cause you can't do nothing. I know. There's nothing that you can do. <laughs> you physically can't go and stop the water or be like, yeah, I'm going to uh, just stop it. You can't. You can't do that. No. You, you just have to hope it do- doesn't get worse. <laughs> so you're going to Freeport. Yeah, I'm going to go to Freeport for I think it's three days. Nice. It, it's a it's a early it's a early uh pretty much it's an early uh birthday present so. Oh, who are you uh going with? Uh, just my family's all going because they're like, hey, you want to go? I'm like, well, I'll go. It's <laughs> it's for my and they're like, well, we can technically say it's your birthday present so. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I'm gonna be taking this thing with me. Oh yeah. I forgot it was funny at Rockville. I forgot the um, memory card. Yeah, like I was right up there, right up close to one of the bands. I'm like, oh, I pulled it out. I'm like, it's like, beep. I'm like, no memory card. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, the same thing ha- happened to me. I was like, all right, man, we're going to go to the beach. I'm going to film some shit. And then all of a sudden I was like, damn it. Well, but lucky for me, my cell phone uses the same uh, memory card. So yeah, my I never thought about that because my, my cell phone uses the same memory card, but I, I never thought about taking it out and putting it in there. So yeah. I recorded on my cell phone, and a lot of the footage that came out was good. The quality was good, but just the overall sound was, like, yeah. really uh, muffled. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't really get a lot of footage, but the footage I did get, I put in the vlog. Yeah. So the vlog that you watched, some of that was the best I could do. So if you guys on iTunes want to check out the vlog that I'm talking about of Rockville, which is a, a very good rock and metal festival, go to youtube.com slash T-H-E-T-R-E-V-E-R-P-I-T-T-S and you can watch, it's called Adventure Rockville Vlog or something like that. You guys could check out some footage. Hey. Hey, that was a pretty cool video, though. Like, and then uh, I like, uploaded like, the some. Part, what? I said like the one part where like that girl was like video bombing you. <laughs> I was like, because I was sitting there the whole time, and she kept like uh, sitting there next to me. And I'm like, I don't even know who this chick is. And then after the sh- that that band was done, she's like, I seen you on YouTube. I'm like, oh, no wonder why you kept every time I pulled out my phone, you were trying to get in the video. <laughs> That's great. And I was like one of the only times I ever got really shouted out by somebody that I uh, that recognized me from a video. Yeah, that happened to me one time, but I was like, 
because I, I like called out this certain smoke shop for like bad customer service and shit. But then they had that they had they had two different stores. One one was near my house, but then I went to the one that was like downtown and I walk in and the guy's like do you make YouTube videos? I was like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, I've seen you. Do you and I'm like, it? do you subscribe to my YouTube videos? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That, that's the real question we need to start asking. Because I, I was just wondering why the girl kept, like, nudging me at the, at the concert. I was just thinking, okay, you're, you're front row. It's, it's bound to happen. You get bumped. Yeah. I kept getting bumped by this dude that was like 6'5", 250, and he kept trying. You know how they have like the guardrails for the front row? Yeah. Uh, so I was at this concert, and this dude was like 6'5", like probably looked like The Rock, like he was that built, like that big of a dude. Oh, wow. Okay. And he kept bumping into me and bumping into me because he kept trying to get front row. I'm like, I'm right by the guardrail. There's no further you can go. <laughs> so I, had to, I basically had to tell one of the security guards, and – this big security guard told the dude to like knock it off. He's like, "What? I'm trying to get to the front." You're at the front. <laughs> he was. Yeah, that happened at the uh, Yellow Wolf concert I was at. Like when I first got there, I was like up front, but after a while, people started pushing me out of the way, and I was like, "What the hell?" But one of the the band that I was watching, they actually uh, had to stop playing because they said the crowd is getting too violent. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, man, it was very intense. I thought being in the front row would be very exciting. It was cool because I got to see the band Five Finger Death Punch up close, and it took me a while to get to the front, to be honest, because there were so many people there. It was one of the most bands everybody wanted to see, but uh, I've never seen so many people moshing and so many people crowd surfing. Even the band at one point was like, dude, we got to tone it down, and they actually went from playing really aggressive music to playing like an acoustic version of some songs because it was just getting out of hand. And when a band tells you that the promoter is telling you that your crowd is getting too violent and too crazy, that means the crowd is going off and really enjoying their music. But I never experienced something like that where everybody's just moshing and crowd surfing. But Five Finger Death Punch was a phenomenal band. But damn, it was very uh, intense. I've never been at a concert where they actually have said the the show and the crowd is getting too violent. I've never heard of something like that. I've seen it like at on t- on movies or at like um what was it Woodstock 1999 where they said Limp Bizkit's crowd was getting too wild and too crazy. I'd never experienced anything like that. He was talking about this girl, which is I guess supposedly a virgin, and she's selling her virginity and. The highest bid is currently five hundred and fifty-five thousand uh, dollars to have sex with this lady. Wow. Her. You know, that would only work with girls. Like, for example, if a guy was like, "Yeah, I'm selling my virginity," like, I just don't think no one would really give a shit. <laughs> I mean, do you think it's, um? A publicity stunt. She's just doing it for the money because a girl that attractive, I don't think, is doing it just for the the, the uh, sex. I don't I don't believe that. Yeah, and a girl and a girl that pretty first off, I don't even believe is really a virgin. <laughs> One of the dudes who actually commented this article basically was saying, "Why would you pay a half a million dollars just to get some ass?" Yeah. I mean, fuck that. Why wouldn't he even pay you five bucks? Yeah, but somebody bidded $555,000. <laughs> Good God. I ain't saying she a gold digger. <laughs> but she ain't messing with no broke. So, guys, would you go on this water slide? It's the world's biggest water slide. You go 65 miles per hour. Water slide. It's 135 feet high. Water slide? Yeah, right here. It's a it says a it's a, it's a hundred and thirty two feet high and go and you go sixty two miles per hour. Holy crap! Here's what it looks like from the the top of the angle. Oh hell no! <laughs> See here's 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 where it is like right here. Damn, that's insane. It's a hundred. Yeah, it's gonna be the world's biggest water slide. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, it's really, it's really fun and everything, but I'm not sure that I would... Yeah, six, 
It says, uh, after climbing 264 steps, <laughs> 234 steps to get to the top of this. Wow. Just look at the fall down, though. Let's look how... Yeah. Like, it's re really, like, down. <laughs> zip, zip running in Las Vegas, and you literally fly over people. Like, you're flying over Fremont Street, and it, it's crazy, but... Yeah, that, like, you've got the strip which is where, like, everybody goes. But then you've also got Fremont Street, which I guess is kind of like a miniature version of the strip. But it's it's pretty fun down there. Uh, like, <laughs> we went to the strip one time when we were down, down there, and that's when this uh, escort started, like, harassing us. <laughs> yeah, the photographic cards. Those are I I remember walking in Vegas. I'm like, yeah, I'll accept them, and I'd rip them up in front of their face. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of those dudes almost chased me down because of uh, ripping it up. Oh man, but like this girl was so hot, like it was unreal. And my brother was all like, so where is your pimp at? Are, are you a prostitute? And she was like, no, I'm an escort. We we're like, oh, okay. My so that means you're higher class than a hooker, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, she's going to act like she likes it, but how many other guys was she with that night before you? Yeah, because she was like, here, look at my tattoo. And her, tat her tattoo happened to be like in between her breasts. So she, she had to like, pull off her shirt and everything. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I don't think it should be against the law if people want to do that. People want to... Buy that stuff. I, I don't yeah. think it. I think if you, if you tax that shit, just like you tax weed, <laughs> America's gonna make a lot of money. Yeah, I think it's morally they don't want a bunch of like STDs just flying all over the place. But okay, then why is it against the law to smoke weed? Yeah, that one, I don't know. But now they're flipping out about e-cigarettes. Yeah, I saw that. They're gonna try to find out what the side effects are of people getting cancer and. A lot of people are like, it's just water vapor. I'm like, no, there's probably more shit in there than you really uh, know. Yeah, oh, uh, there's for sure some other shit in, inside it. I've seen a lot of people when I was at Rockville, they were smoking these e-cigarettes, but the things were like this big. I'm like, it looked yeah. like a fucking cannon. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you're like 16 years old smoking this thing. Yeah. I think it's like... The popular thing to do. I see it a lot on Instagram. A lot of people are like, I'm trying to quit smoking cigarettes. Then stop smoking altogether. Yeah. Like, they're trying to stop quitting, but then no. Uh, I really think that's the that's the um cool thing to do is to smoke those uh, e-cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, kids think they're so badass. Like, oh my god, check this out, you know. And then they get like these, the, they like look it up. They have like, they're, they look like seriously like cannons. They're, they're like this fat around. Yeah, I've actually got one. <laughs> Do you smoke out of it? Barely. Like, what's the okay, what's the difference between that and a regular cigarette? It tastes plastic. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're smoking it, you taste plastic. And it's like, what the fuck? Does it, <laughs> does it smell like a cigarette? No. Then why do you smoke it if it tastes like... uh? Plastic. I don't know. Like I bought one to like try to see what it was all about. And I remember you bought one and you did a review on it. Yeah, it, it's actually got some pretty good views and stuff. <laughs> I think it's got like four thousand or something. Really? Yeah. And I think that was before. Yeah, that was before. It, yeah. Here, here's. Let's see if I could bring up the picture. You see what I'm talking about? What the hell? Yeah, you type. These are like these new, like if you type in like big e-cigarettes. This is what this kid was smoking at uh, Rockville right here. Looks like a dang methamphetamine injection or something. Yeah, see here's what it looks like right here. Wow. And and it's a cool kid. The, all the kids think it's a uh, cool. I see that on Instagram all the time. Yeah. People, I'm like. I've seen the one that you had, like, it really kind of looked like a, um, a black and mild kind of. Yeah, hold, hold on. 
Oh. This one actually looks like a cigarette, like, you know. If I can see. Yeah, I can see that. Let's see. Let's see. But, like. Is that made by Blue? Uh, no, this was just some ghetto one I bought at the gas station. <laughs> like five bucks, I think it was. <laughs> but, yeah, I showed you that thing looked like a cannon. <laughs> right. Let me smoke this because I want to be cool, man. <laughs> okay. Plastic. But the other one, I swear to God, it looks like a, it looks like a cannon. Yeah. yeah, that shit did look like a damn cannon or like a some sort of drug, like. Thing. That's why I was like, "What are you smoking?" I think those are like the rechar re uh, usable kind. You could put like you put you fill it up the liquid and stuff. Yeah, you know, you know what's crazy is uh, there was this guy who lived right behind uh, the hospice place, right, and the uh, the cops came over and they asked if they could search his property. Because he, uh, he was being blamed for some sort of uh, theft. And for some reason, he accepted it. And the cops went in there and found a fucking meth methamphetamine lab. And so then they had, like, the fire trucks down there, like, investigating and everything. And I guess they, they said if they wouldn't have came over there, it would have blew up that night. And there, there there's a gas station probably about 50 steps from this person's house. I was like, dude, they would have killed a bunch of people. And they were making meth in, meth in their, uh, in their like, trailer. Yeah. What are they doing, selling it or something? Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising in this area because, like, every, there's a lot of people who... Like, cracked out? Yeah. Dude was literally hanging out of his car, giving me the thing, I'm like... I'm doing the speed limit. What do you want us to do? Punch it, punch the gas and go like a hundred? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like we will be going the speed limit over here. Some dude will pass us up and then the chick in the car is like flipping, flipping me off. I was like, yo, fuck you. Like, like what do we like we didn't do nothing. I'd be like, obviously you don't know this area. Right, right, right around the corner there is a cop. <laughs> I mean it's just like I guess living in uh Jackson, you coming from Gainesville, you don't really see that kind of crazy uh, shit. In Gainesville, I've been, like, hit so many times riding my bike. How would you get hit riding your bike on the sidewalk? Because they don't pay attention, so, like... And most of them are college kids that have probably uh, been at parties. Yeah, so, like, the light will stay green for me to cross the road. So I'm crossing the road. Next thing you know, this motherfucker just hits my bike. I, I like spin out. I'm like, what the hell? Have you ever got hit while you were vlogging? Uh, surprisingly, no. <laughs> that would have been some good footage you could put that, up on YouTube and go viral. That would have been some, some good footage. And then they would start the no vlogging and driving law. <laughs> Man, this is very, very sad. Apparently this man gets arrested for pouring hot sauce on a dog. So basically what's going on here guys is this dude in Florida pours hot sauce on a dog because the dog won't stop barking and he's getting 18 months of probation and one year in the county jail. What a loser. And I guess he's claiming he didn't do nothing wrong. <clears throat> okay. So you can, go, you can go check out the article yourself but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. Um, well, you see, when you were first telling me about it, I was thinking about this thing because some people will put, uh, like, tobacco sauce, and if their like, puppy is doing something wrong, they'll spray it, like, with a tobacco sauce, and they don't like tobacco sauce. So, kind of like a tr tr training technique, but... but this one, the dog was like apparently just barking nonstop, and so he just poured. <laughs> yeah, he poured hot sauce on him. What and I understand thing. animals like cats and dogs. If you if you don't want them to like scratch stuff or bite stuff, you could give them. You could put like hot sauce near the spot where they're always at, and then yeah. they're not gonna. They don't like the smell of it. Yeah. But apparently, it sounds like he. It basically sounds like he uh, poured it on him. Like he yeah. poured a bottle of hot sauce. Uh, on it. Yeah, it says he was dumped. He dumped hot sauce 
on his girlfriend's puppy because he got annoyed at it yelping. And now he gets a year in the uh, county jail. And he gets 18 months of probation, and he's a 47-year-old. Yeah, and it says the, the dog suffered seizure-like symptoms. That, that's crazy. So it also says uh, the dog was treated for his injuries and adopted by a new owner. So maybe it was a good thing. <laughs> I mean... I don't see... I don't know. I don't understand how people can treat their animals like shit. To be honest, I treat my cat like it's family. I treat it as if it was my own kid. That's how I respect animals because I know they have feelings and they love you. The violent dogs you see that are out there are treated like shit. That's why they're very violent. And to be honest, it's a shocking thing to see people act this way towards dogs. You don't pour a, hot, a bottle of hot sauce on a damn dog. Well, like, but I don't really just want the medical marijuana part because the medical marijuana part, you now have to have some sort of medical condition. To even I heard, it. I heard they denied medical marijuana in Florida. Uh, I haven't read anything on it yet, but the, the governor said that he would sign the bill. Cause so. I know some there. I was watching news and some lady said her kid has uh like seizures all the time, and she said marijuana actually helps him with his seizures. And a lot of people in the government were like, no, nah, we we don't need that because marijuana is not as bad as people think it is. It does a lot for people who have cancer, people who have sleeping disorders. Marijuana is not just something that people smoke to get high. Right. Is it a, is is marijuana really a gateway drug to like crack and cocaine? Everybody oh. I know who smokes weed does not do crack or or uh, hard drugs. Yeah, I've never not one time. It helps a lot of people out there. It's helping. It helps a friend of mine who has a uh, problem sleeping, and they're probably just thinking, "Nah, your friend just wants to smoke the weed." No, he does it because it helps him sleep because he has that insomnia. Yeah, actually. I've got kind of like a, kind of like the same thing. Like I cannot sleep unless either I'm smoking weed or I take some uh, sleeping medication. So did any anything happen on the cruise that was crazy? Because I remember last time you talked about that uh, big girl twerking and falling off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that you were you're like yeah the big girl uh, twerking and uh, fell off the counter for having like 20 beers. Or 20 yeah. shots. Actually, I didn't see anything that that, that crazy go on <laughs> this time. Just, was it? Uh, was this okay? Was the first time you went on the cruise better than the last time? Uh, I don't know, man. I I've been I enjoyed it just like I did the first time. I just thought it was funny. You're you're yawning at your brother, and he's just sitting there like. I'm not yeah. going to answer. I'm not going to look. I don't know. Like, it, it was almost like he was like, just ignoring me. You like, should have had something. You should have threw it at him. You yeah. would have looked up like, what are you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. But, like, what's crazy is uh, over there in foreign lands, the girls love those thong bikinis, man. And they were just walking around the beach like it was a normal damn bikini and shit. <laughs> Damn. I have no idea. All I know is I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so are the beaches nicer than what they are here? Oh, yeah. Like, they're so much more, like, clear and, like, clean. It's blue water, right? Yeah, completely blue. Just like the one we were talking about, the porn star with the big, massive boobs. <laughs> yeah, that one's, that one's funny, man. I laughed my ass off at time. And then the last one I did, I did when I was at Rockville. I did part of it while I was there. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can hear it's It's done on my cell phone, so the quality isn't all that great, but yeah. you can check it out. All right, man. We'll all see right. you guys next time. All right, peace out, y'all. Peace out. Much love. Much love. Peace. Adios. So with that being said, guys, that was the Indie Effects, and... He just came back from the Bahamas, like I said, but I really appreciate if you guys go actually to iTunes and check out what we have uh, come up with because uh, without you guys, we wouldn't be on iTunes. And for you guys who uh, want to just listen to the audio per per ah, the audio version only, go click on iTunes. It's uh, linked in the description box, and 
it will take you up to the podcast because it really means a lot. To I want to grow this podcast. And it's good to be on iTunes so you guys can use your iPods or your cell phones where you're at the gym working out and just listen to us talk and chat. But I will say this. On the 27th, 28th, and 29th, I will be in the Bahamas relaxing, and I might try to do a podcast while I'm out there on my phone or uh, something like that. So with that being said, guys, remember to rate. Even if you hate, comment and subscribe. And if you guys are watching us on YouTube, we appreciate you guys for stopping by. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.